Extremely blessed, extremely blessed. Okay, that's about to survive. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I prefer SB. So today's video, as promised, is going to be how I convert a cosmetic pouch into a crossbody bag. Now, it's not going to be a Fior one. However, it's going to be this lovely, beautiful, patented red Givenchy bag. So pretty. So, if you're interested in watching, stay tuned on how we convert this beautiful bag into a crossbody. Okay, well, before we get started, we're going to go ahead and just get into, like, the specs of the bag. So, as you can see here, um, normally Givenchy pouches or cosmetic pouches only have their logo on it. But this one was such a great buy because it actually has um, Givenchy spelled across it. So, you could definitely get away with actually wearing it as a regular bag so the next thing is on the side it does have Givenchy perfumes here and I, I haven't used it yet so that's why the plastic is still on all the silver hardware here and also it still has the plastic here on the logo because I didn't want it to get scratched up um the thing I saw I actually have um so this bag actually is a zip up bag and i saw a couple people saying that you only could wear it as like a clutch i mean you can do it either or it's a pretty nice size bag so we're just gonna go ahead and get into the inside of the bag so as you can see in the inside it does say Givenchy perfumes um it is zip up so you will just zip zip it up instead of zipping down which I don't see an issue with but some people said they didn't want to go through the hassle of that but here is where we're going to go ahead and get started with um, the making of the actual bag so this is a size pretty deep this bag actually reminds me of like a small Chanel camera bag let's get you the second of that so enough about the specs Give the inside of it. Like I said it's a zipper pouch. And the inside it says Givenchy perfumes, and then it has that material where if you spill anything, you can wipe it right out. It's a pretty thick um, pouch for you, like as far as depth. So you can definitely get a lot of things inside of here but enough about all that i have the details of where you can actually pick this pretty pouch up the retail on this pouch is 76 dollars and it actually comes with uh three other lipsticks so it's a great buy go ahead and get ready to convert this bag so the materials you're going to need today to convert this bag into a crossbody bag is going to be, and I got all these um, materials from Amazon. So if you're interested, you can go ahead and go to Amazon and get the things I have listed below in the description section. So, um, what really took me so long to make this video is because Amazon ended up sending me the wrong um, pieces, but I did get these these i think they're called d rings so you're gonna need obviously the d rings and make sure that when you get it they have these attached to it so this is the actual d ring here and this is that and then you want one that's actually like pretty sturdy kind of heavy duty you don't want one that's like flimsy this one is pretty good quality to me for it to come from amazon and then i got a pack of six i believe for 7.99 either 7.99 or 8.99 you're gonna need two of those actually you're gonna need one of these this is like a screw to actually screw it in place so this back part is what you're gonna actually screw in place when you do the bag so I actually have a pen to kind of like make faint 
mark if you can use a permanent marker or anything you want to use and i actually have some craft scissors um these are pretty sharp or you can use a knife as well for like that sharp tip to make the hole but i'm technically going to be using this actually to guide me to make my hole and last but not least you're going to need a chain so i got this you can use any chain you want i went with this silver chain i got from amazon it's pretty long i'm gonna put it on my body later just to see if it'll actually be long enough for the crossbody or i may have to order another one but this chain as well and that's it so those are all the materials you're gonna need and let's get started okay guys so first thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and see where you want to mark your holes at so the first thing will be um to get a basic idea but it's already done for us here so i'm gonna put my first d ring over here and over here it's already done you just want to make sure that they measure up so the easiest thing to do is i'm gonna count the threads and do it by that that way i know um where i'm actually gonna place my d rings at so i'm gonna count the threads and then that'll give me the exact measurement instead of using like a measuring tape or anything like that so So here, six, so six threads down and over. So I'm gonna do that. So if you want, you could just, so I'm gonna go in now. And since I know where I want my hole at, you actually could do it, I'm gonna just, so I just put like a little dot. You really can't see that, but I put like a dot on my first hole to go. Then you're gonna take the back of this, the back of the stud. And it's just like if you was making like an eyelid. So I'm going to take this and I will recommend doing it from the inside, like a backwards some forward motion. Try to like cut through here. Backwards and forward motion with the scissor in that little hole. So you want to try to make some type of indentation inside. So I'm going to come back once I get done struggling <laughs> to break through this uh, paddle leather um, material and through the actual foam of this box and i'll be right back so i did want to come on camera and show you guys this so as you can see here this is where i have um my scissors here and i'm just twisting it trying to make a hole like i said you want to do this from the inside because you don't want to damage this part so once I've got this through, then I'll go ahead because I need to be able to concentrate. <laughs> once I got this through, then I'll come back and show you um, that I'm putting the actual pieces in. Be right back. Okay, so with a little elbow grease and a little, uh, little prayer, <laughs> I actually did get the scissors to go through. Now I don't want to puncture it through because I still want the actual uh, D-ring to be able to stay in place. So I've made the hole here. And then I'm going to come back and show you guys me putting the D-ring in place. So stay tuned. Okay, I'm back, guys. And I went ahead and put the hole through. Um, so as you can see, there's the hole. It's not too bad. It's not too punctured too bad. You want to stay here. You don't want to go over so much on this side because you don't want it to look kind of like wonky. So now I'm going to take the back of my D-ring. And I'm just going to finesse it through this hole here. Should just go right through actually. So as you can see, it's there. 
So I'm actually gonna screw this in, then I'll come back and I'll show you what to do with the top piece. I also did wanna show you this as well. So I'm taking the little screwdriver part cause I wasn't able to get the back of the D-ring in. And I'm just basically kind of like screwing it. So just to make sure that all the walls are in place so that when I put the D-ring in, it'll just go right in. Do wanna show you that cause some people don't show you everything they had to do to get it through. So you're gonna be like, oh my God, I messed up my bag. So that's what I'm doing now. Yeah, I just want to, hey y'all, I just want to come on camera and show y'all this cause looks like we're gonna have to go on a field trip. So, the screw is in there. However, the screw will not come through. So I think the screw is actually too small. So like, excuse me for example, let me sip this up. So as you can see, it's not that tall. Like I need something that's going to actually, um, like be able to like go like it needs to be like a few more inches or something it needs to just be more like longer i'm just gonna say that because people get technical with inches and all that stuff so and i do want to show you that if you if you um put the hardware on you're not gonna see this hole it looks so good it's just um we're gonna have to go to the hardware stores to actually find a better screw to actually fit here because it actually has to be longer to go through and i have to be able to snap it and screw this on so we're gonna go to home depot we're gonna take everything with us because we want to make sure that we get another screw because technically this how this is a screw is to get another screw to make sure it's gonna fit through this hole so it's field trip time Gosh, like but, you know, I need it. Okay, y'all, so we back from my little field trip. Um, so, as you see by the video, I went to three different stores to find out. I ended up finding what we needed at Menards. Save big money at Menards. Not Menards. Star. Okay. Aggie, this is what they're called. If y'all may want to screenshot that, I'll have this in the description as well. Oh, that and let me show you what they look like so initially i was i got two initially i got one and then i said well let me get the big one so one is uh 50 one is 50 by 10 and the other one is 50 by 12 i got the longer one which is the one i'm probably gonna use because it went up higher um so i'll show you the difference in a second. Okay, so I'm gonna move some of this stuff out the way because this we got stuff on here that I don't even go. I'm gonna try anything. So this one was the one that came with it. This was not nothing, y'all. Like y'all this this project has is taking a lot of me. So the first one I'm gonna show y'all in the hole is the 150 by 10. So I'm gonna cut the cut it so that way I don't forget if I ever have to use these again. And the reason why I think these, the ones that came with the actual product didn't work is because um, they're, I think that the bag is too dense. So as you can see, this is what they look like. I'm gonna put them side by side. So you can see one is actually shorter than the other. So taking out of the frame so let's do the 10 first so you can see it in the hole so i went out camera made my two holes y'all saw me make that one this the one i just made put it in there now when you push it through the hole that's what the 10 look like so you got just a little space to screw it in you got just a little space to screw that head on top of there. I'll probably use the 10 though. Matter of fact, let's let's see if the, cause I was struggling at the store y'all. So I didn't know which one was which. I could actually go back and get my money. So we gonna see what this 10 do first. I didn't think I had enough room to for the screw to go into the hole. Then you wanna take the dome part. 
take the dome part of your D ring, which is this top piece, and you're just gonna stick it on top of there. So I'm gonna go ahead and start screwing this. Okay, one. guys, I'm back. So I end up not using the other ones. I end up using the actual. Um, let me put them in frame. Let's put that there. I end up these are the this is the exact one you're gonna ask for at Menards. This is what I end up using instead of the actual um other ones. I can actually keep these and take these back because I was worried that they wasn't gonna fit inside of there. So here's what they look like. Screw in and that's what it looks like. So just make sure you be careful as you can see I scratch my patent leather a little bit. Um trying to like make sure the holes are deep in um if you want to actually secure them further you can actually add some um e6000 which i may do to reinforce the actual screws since they are um since this really is hardware um just in the inside but just make sure you screw them in tight so that you see that they are screwed in tight i kind of punctured this one so you can see but that one screwed in really well i just want to show you what it looks like inside and so now all we need to do now is add the chain and this will complete our crossbody okay, so now we're gonna take off the plastic off the hardware now since we are done Ooh, so satisfying and this actually looks like a gun metal but it's not it's actually silver take off this side I'm obviously gonna give it like a little wipe down before I actually wear it, but here's how it looks. The chain. I'm gonna put it on so you guys actually can see how long it looks like. But it's so cute. This chain is really heavy. 